Hello! Welcome to Yoga for Changes, Yoga for Kids, or Yoga for the Classroom. We are going to be doing just a very quick beginning of the day, middle of the school day, or end of the day yoga class that you can do. And this will help you with any situation where you feel like you're in conflict with someone or you feel like you're having a disagreement. Take your hand, five fingers, and put your other hand together so your fingers line up, all right? This is a very easy way to calm yourself down so that you don't get in trouble, so that you have a better relationship with your classmates, better relationship with your teachers. So with your pinkies together, you'll think about what are you touching? So are you about to touch someone? Are you about to hit them? Are your feet on the ground? Are you able to stay where you are? Then the next thing, touch your ring fingers together, you'll notice what you taste. And that might seem really weird because you're not probably eating in that moment, but just notice what you taste. So take a moment, do that now. I taste basically nothing, but it's just another way to figure out how you're feeling. Now, touch middle fingers together. This is for noticing what you hear. So when your middle fingers tap together, you'll notice what are you hearing? Because sometimes when you get angry, all you can really hear is what that person in front of you is saying that might be making you angry. So instead, try and find a voice or a sound that's off in the distance or a quieter sound that you can focus on. Then, touch your pointer fingers together. You will notice what you see. All right, so notice what you see. Look around the people in front of you. If someone, in, if someone is in front of you and they're being really mean, or they're saying things and they're trying to make you angry, then look in a different direction. Or even physically move and look at something else, all right? So then your last sense, touching your thumbs together. What did we do already? Let's recap. We did pinkies, that was your sense of touch. Ring fingers, that was your sense of taste. Middle fingers, that was your sense of hearing. Pointer fingers, that was your sense of sight. And then thumbs together, that is your sense of smell. So, thumbs, sense of smell, notice what you smell. You may have not even thought about what you smelled all day, but just notice what you smell. If you notice, it took us a little while to do that. So the reason that you're doing the take five or five senses together is so that you can redirect yourself and you won't make a decision that is gonna get you or someone else in trouble. So. Let's move our bodies and kind of get some of that energy out. So two feet together, you're standing up, then hands together, and deep breath out, fold. Good, this time come all the way up, hands together, hands to your heart, and try out tree on one side. You can pick whichever side you want. You're standing on one foot, and then take your foot off of your leg. So now you're balancing. Good, so now we're gonna practice or take five or five senses while you're balancing. So hold it, hold it, hold it. If you need to switch sides, you can do that. But first, notice what you taste. Notice what you're touching, the floor probably. Notice what you're seeing, what you're hearing, and notice what you smell. And try not to fall over and come back up. All right, let's do that again, but with a different yoga shape. It's called dancer. So I'll show you from the side. You'll turn one palm up and grab a hold of your foot, or you can grab a hold of your ankle, whatever is easiest. And then start to kick into your hand. So you're pushing your leg back, reach your other arm forward, and then see if you wanna lean forward, you can try that. If you wanna stay up tall, you can try that. It's kinda hard to balance. And then take a deep breath in, and switch, other side. So if you want, you can turn face the other way, make sure you don't kick someone behind you, and then kick into your hand, start to balance. This is like a dancer, or if you've ever seen a figure skater, a cheerleader, and then come back up. All right, take a deep breath in, reach up, exhale, fold. Try that one more time, inhale, reach. This time come down to a frog shape, so take your feet apart, come down like a frog, good. From here, hands together. Let's see what our senses have to say. Take five. Pinkies together. What do you taste? Ring finger, what are you touching? I'm touching the ground. 
middle finger, what are you seeing? I am seeing a video camera. Pointer fingers, what are you hearing? I'm hearing the sound of my breath because I'm breathing fast. I'm hearing maybe the sound of the air conditioner. And then thumbs, what's the last one? Is what are you smelling? So I'm kind of stuffy today. I'm not really smelling much, but think about what you are smelling. And then when you're ready, you can collapse, come back up to a seat. All right, we're gonna do our last little thing. It's a challenge. So you're gonna have to keep your hands together this whole time while we do low boat, high boat, sideways boat, swimming, all that jazz. So are you ready? Put your hands together. Look around, make sure you have space from side to side. You're gonna pick your feet up. So you might have socks, shoes, something on. Pick your feet up and hold it just like this. And then with your hands together, take your hands to each side, side to side, side to side. And now lower yourself down so you're almost laying down, but not all the way. And then reach all the way up, come back up. Feet lift up, come all the way back down. Try that one more time. Breathe in, reach up, breathe out, come down. One more time, everybody breathe together. Inhale, reach, exhale. Nice, come all the way up, reach up, and drop your hands, drop your feet. Good, so your feet are together, knees are out. Take a big circle, and then go the other way and then come down, come back up, cross your legs, and take a breath. Everybody breathe in, open your mouth, exhale. Try that one more time, ready, breathe in, and exhale. Awesome, so what are you going to do the next time someone might be making you angry, maybe you're getting into a disagreement with someone, or you just need to go take some space and calm yourself down, you will take five and go through all five senses before you make a decision. So once you go through all five senses, you might be a little more calm. You may have breathed a little bit more. You'll have more oxygen going to your brain and you'll be ready to make a better decision. So I will see you next time.